Hello. I would like to talk a little bit about um, something you may have heard about recently or not so recently, and that is the ability in Premiere Pro to do what's called pancake editing. And the reason you want to do that is because you may have a bunch of different select reels that you have cut. Um, in this case, here's some funny clips, here's some B-roll, here's a string out. Um, these things are not really any of that. It's just sort of for demonstration purposes. And here are all my selects um, from which these things were built. So the uh, benefit, as stated by aficionados of this um, style of editing, is that you can see everything um, and then just sort of drag bits down into your main cut here. Um, and I would also, in here, I have my source. There's only four clips, but there could be 400. And here's my selects. So I basically took all these selects and made selects and split off some of them into funny. In any case, um, I could look at these in this view, but then I have to click through here and click through here and get in here, and then I have to load them into the browser. So you don't want to do that. You want to just do this. Um, so you basically drag along here, and you see you like that, and you drag that in here, and you, oops, well, whatever. Um, drag that back there, and I want link. Well, in any case, you get the idea. So there you go. And then I want to go back to my source here. So I now need to either hover scrub through this stuff. Maybe I like that. I can bring it up in here. I could set the in and out in here. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, it's uh, a quick and easy way to do it. And everyone likes to say that, you know, you can't do this in Final Cut 10 because you can only have one sequence open at a time. I mean, you can tab through them, but you can't pile them up like this. Well, the reality is you don't need to do that because you have here in your browser basically everything. Here is everything. Here's all my source clips. I can sort them. I haven't rejected any, but I've favorited some. So there's just the favorite clips. Here's my keyword collections for uh, all clips. There's my funny clips, there's my B-roll. It's all right here, and I can scroll through it just like I can in, uh, in Premiere without this big pile of sequences here. And it all just goes through, and I can either just, you know, grab this, append that here, grab that, append that. Maybe I just want a little piece of this, append that, go to my selects, and this little bit, append that, that that. It's all right here. And if I want to see everything, well, here's everything. So I can go back to my original source clips and this one like that. It seems like exactly the same thing with much less visual clutter and everything is accessible. So there you have it. Uh, you cannot do pancake editing in Final Cut 10 because you do not need to. It's actually much easier to get to all your source stuff and select reels and whatever without using any sort of breakfast foods.